Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brody here. Today I wanted to do an unboxing of the Navarro Cantina from The Mandalorian. This is the vintage collection. Uh, I got this set last year for my mom for Christmas and I never opened it, so I figured I'd do an unboxing here. Um, and then we've also got the Cassian Andor vintage collection figure. Just got this. Um, I usually don't open vintage collection figures, but figured I'd make a video out of it at least and have some fun because I do want to give you guys a little look into my toy photography hobby and how I do that a little bit. Um, I, I've been doing toy photography for a few years now and it's a lot of fun, especially when you have a set like this. It really makes it fun. You can look, create your own little world. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit about that and um, you know, maybe give some tips and tricks and how you can get started into that. If you want to check out my toy photography, I have an Instagram page. It is B-Side Picks on Instagram. I will put the link in the description. You guys can check that out. Let's get into this unboxing. We'll take a look at Cassian first. All right, let's get to Cassian here. We're going to go open him right up. Uh, he needs to get to those drinks at the bar, so... He looks pretty cool to me, honestly, probably one of my favorite Andor designs so far. Cassian figures haven't been the most popular in the past, but this is probably the best one I've seen so far. Um, I love the brown jacket and I love how he has like the green and blue inner shirt. Just looks really cool and he looks so Blade Runner-y, which uh, the show gave off a lot of Blade Runner vibes. So. Definitely digging the figure. There's no holster, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, the jacket's nice and cool. He has this tiny little blaster. Obviously, it's the one from the show. But yeah, there is Cassian. All right, moving on to the cantina. As you can see on the box, it does come with the Death Trooper uh, vintage collection figure, which is pretty cool. Uh, the box art is really awesome. It does not come with Mando or IG-11. So let's see what we've got inside. Cool looking Death Trooper figure. I honestly really love the Death Trooper design. Probably one of my favorite uh, Trooper designs in all of Star Wars, if not my favorite. One interesting thing that I did notice is that the door is not actually like the plastic material. It is a cardboard, papery material. It's pretty thick and sturdy, so it's not gonna break, but it's not like a plastic sliding door like I thought it was on the box. Um, same thing goes for this area, um, the cutout area. It, it's that paper cardboard material. And it, it does make it cool because you can switch it from the clean looking version to the shot up version, you know, when Moff Gideon is shooting up the place. Um, so you can switch that. And here is what that looks like on its own. So, all right, I went ahead and put everything together. It was getting a little messy. So as you can see, we've got all the props, all the nice drinks that we got going, a couple bar stools. Um, you can switch the, the modules around um, so you can put the door on the other side. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's get into the toy photography aspect of the video. So I just basically wanted to walk you guys through what I do when it comes to toy photography. If I'm shooting inside, I'm using my ring light as an overhead source of light. It does a really good job of filling the whole space with light so you have a really even uh, light source. I usually will use a supporting light that um, you know can be used for a color add or just another light source to brighten up a certain area of the photo that you're trying to get. Honestly, when it comes to camera settings and everything like that, I am not your guy. I kind of just play around with everything. And if it looks good on the screen while I'm shooting, it'll probably look good if I can get an edit on it. So I always say that it's all in the edit. So that is where the apps come in. Update, I lost one of the shot glasses on the ground. I was trying to move Cassian's head and it popped off and then he chucked the shot glass. It's gone. It's literally gone forever in the sea of carpet. So they do give you two. Oh, almost lost it. They do give you two. So we'll have to use that one. Anyway, I do all my editing on my phone. I pretty much never use the computer. So I use three main apps pretty much every time that I take a toy photo, um, starting with Adobe Lightroom. 
this is pretty much essential to me i i, I use adobe every single time um it it does wonders i, I make magic with adobe the second app that I use is called Lens FX. This app is awesome for adding special effects to your photos like lightsabers, blaster fire, lightning, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's really an awesome app and they have a lot of good stuff on there. The third and final app that I use pretty much every time is called Lens Distortions. This is really awesome for adding light sources to your photos, um, artificial light sources. You know, making it look like there's like rays coming through the clouds or through the trees, um, making things brighter or pop, put, adding a little shine to Mando's helmet, that sort of thing. Um, I use lens distortions all the time. So that is it for my essential tools to toy photography. Um, this is what the setup looked like. I'm excited to show you guys the photos. Uh, this set is a lot of fun, so I highly recommend it. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys enjoy the toy photos. So here they are. You better follow Birdie One Kenobi and like and subscribe or I'm gonna get too drunk.